There have been popular arcade games like the Mario and Sonic games, the old platforming ones, and Mario collecting coins and Sonic collecting rings. I play basically the same jump, attack, and gun enemies. There's been lots of popular games since the early 90s, 80s and early 90s were the best ones. What we're about to talk about today is a very interesting known factor. Or the complete opposite of these games. Today we're going to talk about this one. It did not get that much, much of a franchise, but of a famous actor who passed away 20 years ago. Phil Hartman. A great actor that's really funny. Which is his last moment to be in this video game called Blasto. Which everybody pretty much reviewed. Some say it's kind of the worst game out there. Some of them actually like this one. Oh, but the entire intro speak for itself. What it, it's about. By the way, that's boss. So, the evil alien ranger. Lightning effect. And we cut to our hero, Blasto. I admit, this intro is pretty cool. begin our game. I never played this game before, but everybody said this game really is bad. Controls. At least the music doesn't sound terrible. It's not memorable, but still, yeah. And by the way, Phil Hartman talks throughout this entire game quite a lot, since it is his last moment. Whenever his character takes damage, he says random things too. This game is plain simple. You just blast bad guys, do platforming, rescue <clears throat> hot veins, check on maps, that's pretty much it. And collect items too and face the very tyrant villain, Moth Cause. So, Mosk. Mosk, the main villain of this game. There's just not much else to say about this game. It's in the background. Onto a look exactly the same. You can say game when you're right next to the machine. And you'll be dying quite a lot in this one. And with horrible platforming. And that's the main problem with this game. In trouble with platforming. Also, isn't he does he look like Johnny Bravo? 
and so have all the wavy hair do. It's plain and simple. You just jump here, jump there. Just shoot more enemies. Plain and simple stuff. So this review won't be too long to talk about. About this game existing. And how expensive it is. Is to play it. If you're curious, you might actually... You might like to play this game. And they're not to mention boss battles are randomly strange looking, like this one for example. Sure that it's weak spawn from its holes and its web. And it explodes. These bosses are pretty easy, if you know what to do. And most of them are just the same enemies you just saw all before. A giant eyeball. Original. Also, you have to unlock some sort of secret. And to give... Captain Blasto, his speedo outfit, and his underdressing mess. And boss cast find I'm interesting. Quit the fancy talk, boss. It doesn't impress me any. I'm taking you back with me to Space Command Central, where you'll be tried for crimes against the galaxy. <laughs> You get to fight him in the final battle of the giant robot. Pretty easy stuff. Just run here and there, move left to right. And the rest run up is his head that's ridiculously would be difficult to avoid. If you get like the going invisible oh, outfit and you won't take damage when you're facing Osk. And we get to the final scene where you get the blast helm out of the ship and we get the ending. I'll just let this ending roll by itself. Spoiler alert. Who's ever watching this? Bye bye, Bosk. And here's the ending. It does play basically the same with or without of your outfit and on. Not to mention the quality to this game. The animation does look well budget. Then again, it came out in 1998 and nobody even knows this came out years ago. It's also on PlayStation 1. Just plain and simple. Just black, white, red, yellow textures. Ew. 
Also, why does the commander? Also, why does the commander look like that? Snow guy from Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer a bit. <laughs> Very humorous. And that was Blasto. A game that's kind of low quality. It's pretty quite expensive on eBay now. $19.99, 40 bucks. And with this for the other games, $24 and all by itself, $20. I never played this game before, but I might love to give this one a try. If it's bad as what people say, believe me, I play like worse games like Bubsy 3D, which I'll get to pretty soon. There's just not much else to talk about this game. I think it does have like nothing more than it's boring. Backgrounds that look exactly the same. The same thing that you can easily do. It's kind of sad that Phil oh, Hartman's last performance was this game. And, and there are other voice actors I barely know about them. One of the one that played Bosk did other games and the other actor that played the commander. Or did other interesting movies as well before he ended up in this game. All I know is Blasto. Oh, I've been almost remastered or better. Or some games deserve to be remastered. And so does this game. Game. Already been 20 years, and some of the games we got so far were pretty much the same thing we played before. Or once I were on PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3, and this one never gets a remake. So, why not remaster this game with better qualities and better animation? It's already been 20 years, and I'm really surprised that this game never gets a remake since it's easily forgotten and hidden gems out there. It's just nothing more than a platforming shoot 'em up game that you collect stuff and all that stuff. All I can say is, Captain Blasto. Oh, from it being low-quality animation and same tire backgrounds. I give this game a 4 out of 10. But if you really like this game, it's probably worth it. Or to spend your money on it. If not, then don't buy it at all. So... I'll catch you guys when I find another strange hidden gem game that deserves to be remastered. Heard for the PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Adios. Os muchachos.